Welcome back to the Construct 2 Breakout Clone Tutorial. We're going to finish adding the laser effect and the beam effect for the paddle. Right, I really want to edit this and change this name. It's been bothering me. This is a blue laser and it shall be so named. Going over to the event sheet, I've also had second thoughts about this. The mouse left button is down. Uh, let's change that. Instead of being down, it's just going to fire once per click. All right. Next, I don't want to be able to fire lasers as fast as I can click. That would make the laser overpowered. So I'm going to add another condition. This is going to be a system condition. I want the program to count the number of red lasers that are already on the screen. Red laser count. And only if that's equal to zero will it fire more red lasers. Again, we're kind of uh, making this a little bit less powerful, but it'll make the game a little bit more fun. Right, next, I want to add something for my blue lasers as well. Right, I'll get rid of this, get rid of these three. Okay, so now I'm going to change this. Instead of checking for the laser animation, I want to check for the, what do I call that, the beam animation. In that case, I want to edit. I'm going to spawn a blue laser. I'll just fire that from the middle. Maybe I'll fire that from the background, too, just so it appears underneath my paddle. So it looks like it's coming from it rather than being superimposed. All right, I need to change these as well. Let's see. Edit. Oops. Cancel. need to edit this. Really, I want to check to see if... Well, I want to set the bullet speed of the blue laser to be 300. Let's see, bullet. Oh, do I not have the bullet behavior on? Right click, behaviors, add, bullet. Hmm. All right, I need to edit this. Back, back, blue laser. Let's see, I need to set the speed. Again, I want this to fire up, so I need to change the angle of motion. So back, switch red laser to blue laser. Angle of motion, 270, that's fine. All right, so if the beam animation is playing, that'll happen. But this is so super powered, I really don't want it to uh, fire more than once. So at that point, after firing that, I'll set the animation of the paddle back to normal. You only get one shot with the beam. Okay, next, the laser and the beam have to actually destroy things. So, I'm going to add another sub-event. See, if the red laser collides with... Let's see... Collides with a brick. A couple of things are going to happen. First, I want the brick to spawn an explosion. Spawn which object? Explosion. Um, put this on top. I'll do that nifty little thing where I randomize the angle. So it looks a little bit different. Then I'm going to destroy the brick right away. Let's see, miscellaneous destroy. I'm also going to destroy the laser. Now, I'm going to add another event. What happens when the blue laser hits something? Well, let's see. When the blue laser collides with a brick. Add action. I'm going to have the brick, again, spawn an explosion. Oops. Spawn an explosion this way. Um, again, we'll put down the GUI layer. In this case, I want the explosion to be blue. So, explosion, set animation, blue, brick destroys, but the blue laser does not. It's super powerful. Let's run it. All right. Whoops, I need to have that destroy when it's outside the layout. What a fun bug. All right, anyway, that works, and... So what is that? Excellent. I'll fix that little bug next time, and see you then.